Here we are, out at the park. What you say, Luke boy? Pretty man. Jenny girl? What you say, pretty girl? What are we watching? These two watch my back. I've got it worked out pretty much. I start out in the morning and I get Luke to go as far as he can. You know, I pay attention, see when that leg really just gets to gimpy twisting and everything. And then once he reaches that point, it's usually about a quarter of a mile or maybe a third of a mile. Then I load him in the wagon and then me and Jenny pick up the pace a little bit and two mornings she has just dropped to the grass in front of this Makayo's about half a mile into the run and so I've loaded her into the wagon with Luke and pulling them both it's about 290 pound in that wagon and I did a little over a mile maybe mile and a half so I was that's pretty good. That's happened twice. That's why I'm bringing the camera every morning now. Just thought I'd share the sunrise with you. I got some still shots. It's... Ah, great, man. Always, always something. Ah, it's far away, kids. Don't worry. Figured I'd share the sunrise with you. I got some still shots that I'll paste them in at the end of the video. I'm just going to run you a whole panorama because it's just really pretty this morning. I hope this shows up as good as it looks to me. It's just really, really pretty this morning. Got the sprinklers going. Had a ghetto bird cruise over just a little bit ago. So my guess is that wherever that that boom came from. Yeah. I can hear the chopper circling yonder. Ah, good deal. As long as it's over there. Anyway, like uh then I I, I jog until we get over to the the other side of the footbridge. It's right over here. See that building? Those are restrooms with fountains. And I unload Luke there and pull the wagon through the grass at whatever pace the boy can manage. And then he pokes around until he be laying down. And Jenny gets to chase her ball because she needs a little extra some days. Some days she doesn't. When she doesn't, she'll hunker over her ball when I reach for it. I don't know. Let's see if she'll do it right now. Nope, she's not going to do it because the camera's on. You're a pretty girl. Pretty girl. Jenny, bark. Jenny, bark. Bark. <laughs> yes, good girl. All right. All right. There's the water. Look, he has not spilled it yet. <sighs> oh, anyway, so once we get over here, I throw the ball for Jenny a little bit. I'm gonna get my backdrop there. Hope that shows up. Um, throw the ball for Jenny until she doesn't want to chase it anymore. And then I do 20 reps of the the ZFJ and hell ups to failure. Check this out. 10 pound pair. How'd they know? How'd they know? <laughs> Just teasing. Um. I just thought I'd bring you all along. You know, who can't, who can't start the day off with, with sprinklers and grass and sunrises and dogs and, and a little bit of silly potty humor. So I just thought we could, I don't know, share the sunrise together. I don't know what y'all got planned. We got a really pretty park here. Just wish the bums wouldn't mess it up so badly. The miserable bastards. You know, like I've said, you can be homeless without being a freaking bum. Leave no trace. It'd be like the Sierra Club, you know? Folks don't need to know you were there. They don't need to see your wads of toilet paper. 
Don't eat too much grass, Jenny. You know, it'll make you barf. Man, I have some, I'll have a video coming up later, uh, later on today, showing some vipers I'm working on and and uh, like that. I should probably do some editing on this, but you guys know me. Fast forward, or even just hang up the video phone. No harm, no foul, y'all. Yeah, you know what, I'll give you some shots of this while we're waiting for that old lazy sun. I'm waiting for that old lazy sun. Just taking his sweet time. Aurora. Paints the sky with the rosy fingers of dawn. Isn't that how it goes? Y'all, if you get a chance, go check out Luke Deal's Knives. He's a good guy. Seems like a really nice guy, real humble. Um, knife maker. And Joey Roman over at JR's Surviving the Bushcraft Knives. He's another good guy, top-notch dude. Um, Brother Dell at Dirty Room Knives. Scope him out, man. Another, another really good dude. I mean, if, if you want, check them out. Well, that sun's just miles down behind that mountain, y'all. I tell you what, I'll bring you back. I'll bring you back when the sun comes. All right, I promise. All right, see you in a minute. Live free, punch hard, be good to yourself, because y'all are damn well worth it. I am going to figure out how to edit this in, so it's going to be like... Smooth. No, probably not. I'm just saying that. I'm talking out my behind right now. Yeah, I know that. I don't know for editing. So there, we, we pretty much, we shed the sunrise, y'all. It's peeking over. It's getting real pretty. Got the... Got the rays of light all around. Just beautiful. Look at that. I'm going to turn it this way. You see that ray of light right there?
All right. There it is, y'all. I got to get going. Be good to yourselves. Live free and punch hard. All right? Don't hang your head for anyone. Be better than that. You hold your head up high. Be good to yourself because you are worth it. And be true to you. Be fierce in the defense of your spiritual turf and be fierce in the defense of who you are. All right? I dig you. I'm catch you later.